always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A yellow sun. That's right. Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A yellow house. Yes! And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a yellow flower. That's right! What's this one? That's a yellow wiggle bug. <laughs> Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a yellow sun. A yellow house, a yellow flower, and a yellow wiggle bug. What do they all have in common? They're all yellow. That's right. Today, I'm only painting yellow things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make yellow our special color of the day. Which pencil is yellow? There it is! Yellow pencil. Which kite is yellow? There it is! Yellow kite. Which hat is yellow? There it is! Yellow hat. Which flower is yellow? There it is. Yellow flower. Very good. I'm crunching leaves, but only yellow leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it. <laughs> Yay. See you. 
pig. Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Mm. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> Look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... <gasps> we clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Where is Yellow? What would happen if the color yellow decided to disappear? Let's read and find out. Let's begin. Where is Yellow? Written by Lei Tu Fuang Quin and Paru Batra. Illustrated by Gwyn Ting Nok Bik. Once there lived a box of paint tubes in an artist's house. The yellow tube said to the other paint tubes, I don't want to paint with you all. I don't want to become used up. That same day, the artist decided to paint the most beautiful painting ever for all the children in the world. The artist painted the trees with brown, but something was missing. What was it? The artist painted the leaves with green, but something was missing. What was it? The artist painted the sky with blue, but something was missing. What was it? She painted the blooming flowers with red and pink. Still, something was missing. She painted the scarlet dragonflies, the lime green parrots, the snow white rabbit, and the gray elephant, but something was still missing. What do you think was missing in the painting? The artist opened the window and looked outside. Now she knew what was missing. It was the sun. Yellow. 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 She needed yellow to paint the sun. Do you know where yellow was hiding? Yellow was nowhere to be seen. But what about the most beautiful painting for all the children in the world? What could be done? 
Yellow thought and thought. Then she stuck her head out of her hiding place, whispering, Here I am. You can paint the sun now, but only take a little of me. There. The artist could now paint the most beautiful painting ever for all the children in the world. Do you like it? The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! Let's sing a counting song about potatoes! Potatoes? Yes, potatoes! It goes like this. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Are you ready to count potatoes with me? Yeah! Let's go! Here we go! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Again! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Ooh, that was fun. That was wonderful. Thank you for singing with me. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too. Let's all play the alphabet game When I show you a letter, say its name Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? K! What's this letter? V! What's this letter? W! What's this letter? Y! Now let's do it fast! W! Y! K! V! K! W! V! Everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say its name! Woo! The letter B! <laughs> Monkey! Monkey! Hmm, where is he? <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Look! <laughs> Where do you think Monkey is? It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. 
Listen. Hush up, I don't you cry. Go to sleep, my little baby. When you wake, you shall have all the pretty little horses, blacks and bays, dappled and grays, dancing through the sky. When you wake, you shall have all the pretty little horses. Little horses.